My parents passed away a couple of years ago. Uh, my dad passed away when I was around um, 17 and my mom passed away when I was around 19. So ever since then it was my brother and sister who fucked me up. My entire life was great to now. And since my family was under dire circumstances due to a lot of problems, um, my only option was to move out of the house for a couple of years and uh, my best friend's mom uh, took care of me just like her own son gave me uh, gave me the necessary care, love, attention. I want to like grow up and become a lawyer and um, I want to make him proud and I want to like because he supports me and my sisters a lot and he spends so much for us and I want to show him that like uh, that it wasn't in vain. bit of more uh, violent nature in my own family uh, so um, there were circumstances where it was it gotten too violent and uh, she basically just sprung up to action and just uh, you know asked you know just checked up on me like just like how a mother would do to her son just called up just said uh, do not wait uh, do not wait at home when we were like really younger uh, our mom she used to like I think she had like short temper she used to get really mad at um, her because she was like crying because she was a kid or something and our mom, she got kind of stressed out but our dad was like being really kind and he was like, she's just a kid. I used to have a really bad relationship and um, it went bad very fast and uh, I was completely disconnected from the world, from my friends, from family, everyone. When I really, really needed my family and everyone, my brother and sister were there. Like no matter what I did in the past, it didn't matter to them because like regardless, I'm their little sister. Uh, my best friend's dad, when he passed away, uh, during that time I kind of uh, felt very lonely because I uh, kind of lost like a father figure. And she was, she gave me uh, the line, do not cry, uh, do not uh, be sad, that he went out with a smile give peace within your heart thinking that they were there in your best days and your worst days and moving forward even if you're even if they are not in this well that they will always be with you in your heart one day we went to um i think Neuralia, and uh, do you know like the uh, lovers falls right so we were there and we decided to go a little bit you know like adventuring and stuff like that so we decided to jump onto this other rock as I was going, it was raining that day, so it was really slippery and all that stuff. So my brother jumped and then I was like, yeah, yeah, I can do it, I can do it. And I jumped and I just slipped and fell. And like my brother literally was holding me with like one hand and like balancing himself on my weight. Uh, never to slack off. <laughs> like oh, when something needs to be done, you do it right away. No excuses. Uh, to make sure that you uh, treat yourself first as a human being and if you treat yourself then you will understand how important a human life is. After everything that happened, you know, I had to kind of grow up and you know, do things on my own, earn my own money and everything and I feel like my sister was one of the biggest role models for me for that. Like, go your own way, like don't listen to what other people tell you and don't let other people's opinions like like change your goal. When it comes to being confident, being um, level-headed, I think that's my brother. He is 100% that person. He's the most level-headed person you can ever meet. We love you. We, love you. <laughs> yeah. we don't say it often. I truly cherish them and I love them and I am so grateful for everything they've done in the past for me and still doing for me. And I, you know, I love her so much. I think that's something I've uh, missed out, but uh, I'm pretty sure she knows in her own way that uh, I do love her more than, you know, more than my mom, mom at times. It can happen. It can really happen because she's been there at the crucial times. Mm -hmm.